So you might be in a weird position where for some reason, some of your iPhone settings are actually grayed out. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, some of the options that you have inside of your settings on your iPhone may actually not be available. So I've seen this sometimes within battery. Sometimes if you try to turn on or off a certain feature here, it might be grayed out. Or if there's certain features here, sometimes they may not even allow you to go and toggle on or, tog to or toggle off a certain feature. And it's very, very random and it happens at very random times. But the main way to go and fix this is to go ahead and see exactly what specific feature that is that's basically not allowing you to go ahead and toggle it on or off. So in this case, for example, let's say it was a certain feature. Well, the best thing you can go ahead and do is find out what feature it is. Let's say it's the battery and it's not allowing you to turn on or off something inside of your battery settings. We'll figure out what it is and that might end up, you know, being like, oh, well, I can't toggle this off because I don't have this iPhone or I don't have this feature. It's usually because of some discrepancy within the hardware and the software. But a big thing you can do to go and fix this problem is to go ahead and update your iPhone. So make your way over to your iPhone settings just like this. You want to scroll down inside of your general settings, which is right here. And then you want to go and click on software update. So you can go and click on software update just like this. And what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and basically update your specific iPhone. So go ahead and find your update panel like here. Find out what the latest version of software is and go ahead and update your iPhone. For a vast majority of people, updating your iPhone is probably going to end up fixing the problem. And that's exactly what I'd recommend doing here. Just go ahead, update your iPhone, and you want to see if that ends up fixing it for yourself. If that fixes it, then you're set. If that still doesn't fix it, the next thing you're going to want to do is go and restart your phone. You want to go ahead and see if there's a reason. Maybe you're on a beta or something and you're not able to install the you know, feature full update that you're supposed to have or whatever. But updating your iPhone is pretty much the main way to go and fix this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.